Hey everyone, I'm Ryan with Open Door Genetics, and this is the second video in a five-part series on how to find your biological family using DNA. Step number two is upload your DNA to more sites. And today, I'll show you how. If you're searching for family, the best thing you can do is get your DNA in as many databases as possible. The more databases you're in, the more matches you'll get. Now we all know DNA testing can get expensive, but the good news is paying for a new test is not the only way to get your DNA in a database. There are three databases that allow you to upload your raw DNA data for free. And they're Family Tree DNA, MyHeritage, and GEDmatch. Unfortunately, Ancestry and 23andMe don't have an option for you to upload to their database. And that means you should start testing with those two and then transfer into these three. Now, before you can upload, you'll need to download your raw DNA from your testing company. You can do this at all four companies, but I'll show you how to do it at Ancestry and 23andMe since those are the best places to start. So once you log into Ancestry, you'll click on DNA, then your DNA results summary. Next, you'll click on settings in the top right corner, and then scroll to the bottom until you see actions. Next, to download DNA data, click Download. You'll need to enter your password. Check this box and click Confirm. From there, Ancestry will send you an email with your raw DNA file attached. And that's all, not too bad. If you're on 23andMe, click on your name in the top right corner, and then select Browse Raw Data. Select the Download tab, Scroll down, select this box, and then click Submit Request. You'll then get an email from 23andMe with your DNA file attached. Now that you've downloaded your DNA, you're ready to upload it to new databases. So first, let's do Family Tree DNA. From the home page, you'll select Upload DNA Data, then Autosomal DNA. On this page, you'll create an account. Then on the next page, they'll ask which testing company your DNA is coming from. Attach your DNA file here, and then press Submit. Family Tree DNA will email you a kit number and a password that you'll need to log into your account. They'll also email you when your results are ready after just a few days. Next up is MyHeritage. You can start by going to myheritage.com slash DNA slash upload. You'll press start, then fill in your information to create an account. On the next page, you'll be prompted to answer a series of questions. When you're done, you'll click upload and select your raw DNA file. You can expect an email from MyHeritage when your results are ready within a few days. Finally, GEDmatch. GEDmatch is unique in that it is not a testing company. It is a database with high power tools for examining the DNA you and your matches share in common. Anyone who's tested at any company can upload to GEDmatch, which means it's a good place for connecting with relatives who tested at different sites than you. So once you create an account and log in, you'll come to the homepage. Scroll down until you see click here to upload your DNA data on the right side. You'll then fill out the questions on this page. And at the bottom, you'll attach your file and then click upload. Unlike the previous sites, GEDmatch won't email you when your results are ready, but it does tend to be quicker, only one to two days at most to get your matches. Once your results are in at all three sites, check out our next video on how to cluster your matches so you can keep moving forward with finding your family. If you'd like me to personally take a look at your DNA results and help you with your search, reach out at my website, www.opendoorgenetics.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe below to stay connected.